Hello, my name is Tom Strait. I'm one of the trumpet players with the Fargo-Moorhead Symphony Orchestra, and I'm here today to talk to you a little about the trumpet. Uh, the trumpet, as many of you may know, is a member of the brass instrument family, and the other members of that family include uh, the trombone, the French horn, and the tuba. And there are a few others, but those are the main ones. The trumpet is the highest member of the family, um, uh, and you may know that what determines how high or low an instrument can go is how long or short it is. And so the reason why a uh, tuba sounds lower than a trumpet is because it's a longer instrument. And you'll notice that it starts here, the tubing, and goes all the way around and winds around until it comes out here. If you were to unwind this tubing you'd, and then unwind a tuba, you'd notice that the tuba is probably four times longer than the trumpet, and that's why it sounds so much lower. And of course, the trombone and French horn are somewhere in between that. Today, the trumpet can be found in any type of music you can imagine, uh, not just classical music that you would hear at a symphony orchestra concert, uh, but you can hear it in jazz music, you can hear it even in rock and roll music. Just about any type of music you can imagine, a trumpet can fit in. I'll talk to you a little bit about how the trumpet works. As I already mentioned, uh, this uh, end of the trumpet here where the sound comes out is called the bell, and the end that goes against our lips is called the mouthpiece, okay? And the, these uh, three things in the middle are valves, okay? Uh, the trumpet didn't always have valves. And what these valves do is they enable the instrument to play more notes than it would without the valves, okay? If I don't use any of the valves and play only the notes that I can play without the valves, it sounds something like this. And if I play different patterns of those pitches, what we'll have are some of the uh, tunes that you know as bugle calls, such as uh, charge. You know, I might hear that at a baseball game, or it act the, the roots of that actually comes from uh, the military in wartime. They were actually, in the cavalry, there were buglers whose job it was to, uh, to signal the troops at different points in the, in the battle, okay? Uh, t t today, at military funerals, uh, we play taps, which is a, a sort of a pretty somber melody um, to uh, honor the, uh, the fallen soldier, uh, which a little bit of that is. Okay. If you ever go to a horse race, uh, they play um, this before the start of each race to let everybody know that it's, that it's about to start. You may see that I've got some other instruments with me that are part of the trumpet family. This is called the flugelhorn, and uh, it's sort of a cross maybe between the uh, trumpet and the French horn. If you were to uncoil this tubing, it would be the same length as the, this uh, trumpet that I just uh, showed you. However, it's shaped a little differently, and so it gives it a much more mellow sound. Covers the same range, it's just a slightly different sound. This instrument here looks like a little baby trumpet, okay? If we unwound this tubing, it'd be approximately half the length of this tubing, and so it's going to sound much higher, okay? We call this the piccolo trumpet, okay? And um, if I play like a scale, uh, or maybe even just a, uh, two or three notes on the regular trumpet, and play the equivalent notes on the piccolo trumpet, you hear the difference, much higher, okay? And so uh, this instrument we use uh, for different special effects in modern music. We also use it as, as the uh, main instrument to play music from way back in the Baroque era, back in the uh, 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 1700s. 
uh, it's very well suited for, for the trumpet music of that period, okay, because it tends to be very high, and so it's easier to play. Um, and um, I'll give you a little uh, extra surprise here. Like I said, before the invention of the valve, uh, the trumpet, and as a matter of fact, all the brass instruments were very limited in terms of the number of notes that they can play. And one of the things that uh, is in common between the trumpet and the French horn and the trombone and the tuba is that without the valves, we, we have, we're limited in those notes. And as a matter of fact, you can take any piece of tubing, and right now I've got just a piece of flexible um, uh, plastic tubing here, and I've put a funnel on the end of it to act sort of as a bell, and then I'll use my trumpet mouthpiece and stick it in the front here. And uh, now mind you, it's not going to sound very pretty, but you'll see that it has that same series of notes, or it's very similar. <laughs> And so do you hear the gaps between the notes? One last thing that I'd like to share with you are these contraptions that we have on the table here. These are called mutes. And what these different mutes do, they, they go in the end of the bell and they basically change the character of the sound. They soften it a little bit, but also change the, the, character, the character or the mood of the music. For instance, this is one of the more commonly used straight uh, mutes. It's called the straight mute, not named after me, by the way. Okay, and when I stick it in the end of the horn, um, I get this sound. Okay, so it still sounds like a brass instrument. It has a metallic sound to it, but it's, it's a little smaller sound, a little more piercing, uh, so it can be used for certain effects. Um, this mute is called a cup mute because the end of the mute has this cup-looking device on it, and what it does it softens the tone, makes it a little more mellow, and it can blend maybe with uh, like a, a great combination with the uh, cup mute on a trumpet would be a flute. Okay, and uh, this is called a wah-wah mute or a harmon mute has different names, okay? And uh, it can create a nice cartoon-like eff effect if we use our hand on the end. Okay? And we can use a similar effect using just a, uh, an, a, any standard household toilet plunger without the stick. And we use this uh, mute a lot in jazz music. Okay, and so what we've done today is uh, shown you a little bit about how the trumpet works, a little bit about its history, uh, the different types of instrument in the, in, in the trumpet family, mutes, and uh, we really hope that you enjoy these presentations and hope that when you have an opportunity to play these instruments in your school band or orchestra that you'll, you'll do that because it's a lot of fun. You don't have to do it for a living like we do, but whether you do it for a living or just as a hobby, there's room for you. So thanks a lot. This program is funded by the North Dakota Council on the Arts, the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund, with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota on November 4th, 2008, and by the members of Prairie Public.